Hey there everyone, Wes Altus, Director of Instruction here at Top Golf Jacksonville. And I have another great at-home drill for you guys to do. Uh, this drill is really um, good for players who when they get up to the top of their backswing, they tend to pull down on the shaft a lot. And I think this comes from a lot of people thinking they have to get this mythical lag. Um, when people try and get the lag in, what they tend to do is cup the wrist, the lead wrist a lot. And what that tends to do is it actually opens the face of the club. So if we get in this position, we've pulled down a lot, face is wide open, we're not gonna be able to pivot correctly. A lot of good players, when they'll get this way, they'll start tipping back in order to get the path out to the right. And then they'll usually shut down the turning of their body and have a lot of uh, rotation through. And the inconsistency of the ball flight, this strike is highly compromised. So a good way to start feeling this kind of shallowing off of the shaft is just doing a lead arm drill. So for a right-handed player, the lead arm is gonna be my left arm. So what you're just gonna do, you can get in your normal setup position. Once you get nice and comfortable there, take your trail hand off or your right hand for the golfer, for the right-handed golfer. You can place it behind your back, leave it at your side, it really doesn't matter. But what you're gonna do is go ahead and take this club up to about left arm parallel. We'll call this position three. So we'll go left arm parallel or P3 with just the left arm on. And then what I want you to feel is a slight little kind of turning of the palm towards your forearm. What's that gonna help you do is one, it's gonna shallow the shaft a little. And two, as you notice when I'm doing this, you notice the face is actually starting to turn toward the camera from this down the line view. When that happens, now we have allowed ourselves to basically keep turning into the ball with the uh, club face a little bit close to the path. That will help us with the draw. So when we get in here again, we'll go set up, P3, give yourself a little twist, and then go ahead and turn through. Do that a couple times, just get the feel of it. You can slow it down a little, really start feeling what it's supposed to feel like. And what you're gonna have notice is you're gonna actually start turning your body a little bit faster through the shot. So this will help with your uh, consistency and also getting the club to shallow out so you're able to swing a little bit more out to the right, but it also allows the body to be freed up and pivot a little bit faster. Again, when the club shaft gets too steep and the face is open, what we're gonna see is a lot of dumping the wrist angles out, really straightening the right arm too quickly. That's gonna to lead to a lot of contact issues. If you are a good player and you notice your trajectory control is a little off, you have some that look perfect, then you'll float a couple, and then a couple will be low. That's usually a sign that you're pulling down on the shaft too much. Hope this tip helped and uh, I'll be back with some more videos soon.